Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sirajul Afazi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about radical substitutions with greater than one kind of hydrogens. So you can see in this example, we have red hydrogens and we have blue hydrogens. You know what is meaning of this methyl and this CH2 because this six hydrogen is one type and two hydrogen is different type. Now we are interested to do radical substitutions. You will get two different products, one chloropropane and two chloropropane. So question is when there is one type of hydrogen then there is one option for radicals formations and therefore one option for monohalogenation product. So learning check in the reaction of Cl2 with 2 methyl butane how many monochlorinated isomers are produced. So answer is 4. Now friends, polar reactions. Molecules can contain local unsymmetrical electron distribution due to differences in electron negativity. And this causes a partial negative charge on an atom and compensating partial positive charge on adjacent atom. The more electronegative atom has the greater electron density. Elements such as oxygen, fluorine, nitrogen, chlorine more electronegative than carbon. So look at this picture. Chloromethane dipole moment directions you can see carbon to chlorine and with high lithium dipole moment direction is different. So, polarity pattern in some common functional groups, carbonyl, alcohol, alkene, carboxylic acid, alkyl halide, carboxylic acid, chlorides, amine and aldehyde. Ether, ester, thiol, ketone, nitrile, Leonard resins, and alkyl lithium. Now friends, polarizability, that is very important topic. Polarization is a change in electron distributions as a response to change in electronic nature of solid. Polarizability is the tendency to undergo polarizations. Polar reactions occurs between reasons of high electron density and reasons of low electron density. So polarizability bond inherently polar already can be made more polar by reactions with acid or bases. So methanol weakly electron poor carbons. Now protonated methanol strongly electron poor carbons you can see so bonds not inherently polar can be polarizable as interaction with the solid or other polar molecules affect the electron distribution you can see 2.55 and 2.58 sulfur and this is the Expressions. If you have the iodine, then 2.55 now it become 2.6. So large atom with loosely held electrons are more polarizable than a small atom with few tightly held electrons. So sulfur is more polarizable than oxygen, and iodine is more polarizable than chlorine. 
So generalized polar reactions, an electrophile and electron poor species combined with nucleophile and electron rich species. An electrophile is a Lewis acid and a nucleophile is a Lewis base. The combination is indicated with curved arrow from nucleophile to electrophile. And this curved arrow shows that electrons move from B minus to A plus. So electrophile electron poor and nucleophile electron rich. The electrons that move from B minus to A plus end up here in this new covalent bond. Now, friends, you can see NH3, H2O, OH, and CM. Some nucleophiles electron rich. Now, you can see some electrophile electron poor, H3O plus, CH3, Br, and here carbonyl. So learning check, which of the following is likely to be a nucleophile and which an electrophile? So answer is this E for electrophile and for nucleophile. Further learning check, is BF3 is likely to be nucleophile or electrophile? So, is BF3 is likely to be nucleophile electrophile? Answer is electrophile. Now, which of the following is expected to be the worst nucleophile? Check the answer BS. So, now friends, an example of polar reactions additions of HBr to ethylene. HBr adds to the pi parts of the carbon carbon double bonds. The pi bond is rich, allowing it to function as a nucleophile. HBr is electron deficient at hydrogen since bromine is much more electronegative, making HBr as electrophile. So you can see this reactions. Mechanism of additions of HBr to ethylene. HBr electrophile is attached by pi electrons of ethylene nucleophile to form a carbocation intermediate in bromide ion. Bromide adds to the positive center of carbocation which is an electrophile forming carbon Br C proper. The result is that ethylene and HBr combine to form bromoethene. All polar reactions occur by combination of an electron this site of a nucleophile and electron deficient site of a so look at this reactions. Here a hydrogen atom on the electrophile HBr is attached by pi electrons from the nucleophile double bond. The formations of new CH bond and this leaves the other carbon atom with a positive charge and vacant p orbital. Simultaneously two electrons from the HBr bond moving onto the bromine and giving bromide anion. You can see the bromide. And bromide ion donates an electron pair to the positively charged carbon atom of forming a carbon's CBR bonds and yield the neutral addition products. This is a bromoethene. So you can see carbon carbon sigma bond is stronger, less accessible bonding electrons but carbon-carbon double bond weak, more accessible electrons. So learning check, what product would you expect? So this is the product. So friends, hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.